welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Pink Panda token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB from Binance, transfer it over to your Smart Chain wallet on your Trust Wallet, and then swapping it for the Pink Panda token. I just like to let you guys know that I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel into the future. So if you guys are interested in learning how to buy, how to sell, and lots more to do within the crypto space, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to buy the Pink Panda token. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And then it's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now I already have it in my whitelist so I can just click on it but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB just click on max or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And, and once you guys have your BNB in your smart chain wallet on your trust wallet, whether you guys purchased it directly in trust wallet or you guys transferred it from another exchange, you just want to ensure that your BNB is in your smart chain wallet. So if you guys did transfer BNB over to your BNB wallet and it's not in your smart chain wallet yet, all you have to do is go to where it says BNB click on more and then click on swap to smart chain. Once you guys do that, you'll be able to see it in PancakeSwap. So it's very important that you guys have it on your smart chain wallet, regardless where you bought it. 
Anyhow, first things first, we have to add the Pink Panda token to Trust Wallet, and to do that, I'll have a link in the description over to the BSC Scan website, where we're going to copy the contract address and then paste it into Trust Wallet. So I'll just show you guys really quickly what that looks like here. Let's we'll head over to the BSC Scan website, scroll down, and you'll see a contract right here. You just want to go ahead and click on the copy button right beside that. Once you guys have that copied, we could exit back out of here into Trust Wallet again, and then we can go to the top right of your screen where you see the two lines and the two circles. Click on that, and then just paste that contract address up in the search bar up here. Once you guys do that, you will see the pink panda token pop up. We can just enable that and then click on done. Once we've done that, we do have to go to the browser on the bottom of our screen. If you guys don't have the browser there for whatever reason, you'll have to go to the second link I have in the description. I'll show you guys really quick what that looks like. So if you guys go to that second link, it'll just bring you to this website here where we have to enable the D app browser. So to do that, we're just going to scroll down and then find where it says step one. You'll see a link here. Just go ahead and click on that link. And then it's going to pop up a pop up here asking us to open it in Trust Wallet. You can click on open there. And then, of course, it'll add the browser to our Trust Wallet application. So once you guys have that browser there, we can go ahead back over to Trust Wallet and open up a browser. We're then going to scroll down and just click on PancakeSwap. And now if this is your first time on PancakeSwap, you will have to connect your wallet. So if you guys go to where I have that red circle on the top of the screen, you'll see a connect button there if it's your first time. Click on connect and then click on Trust Wallet. And then you will see your wallet address up in the top right there. Once you guys have that done, you should see your balance there right above BNB. If you guys don't have your balance there, just make sure you have your BNB on your smart chain wallet or else it will not show your balance. Anyhow, what we have to do is click on select a currency and then you want to paste that same address that we got from BSE scan in the top of this search as well. You will then see pink panda. So we can go ahead and click on add and then click on the token. Once you guys have done that, we will have to change our slippage tolerance to 12%. To change your slippage tolerance, you just want to go to beside where it says exchange, where you see those three lines. Go ahead and click on that and then we'll be able to change our slippage tolerance right here to 12%. Once you guys have done that, we can exit out of here. And now we just have to decide how much BNB that we want to transfer over into Pink Panda. So let's just say, for example, I want to do 0.5 BNB. I could type in 0.5 BNB here, and that's going to show me how much Pink Panda I'll get in exchange for that BNB. Now, if you guys are comfortable with that exchange rate, you can click where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. It should just tell you here to swap, and then the next page will show you a more broken down version of your transaction, basically showing you your fees and your withdrawal rates and things like that. Now, make sure you do understand that before you click on confirm. But once you guys click on confirm, you can exit out of here and go back into your trust wallet and your pink panda token will appear here, usually within a couple minutes, depending on the liquidity. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get the pink panda token using trust wallet and pancake swap. This video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.